Hey, how's it going? Happy Mercury Day. PM me if you want to learn about yourself, if you want to learn more about yourself, learn more about your friends, learn more about your company, become more in tune with yourself. Definitely PM me, drop me a pledge, <laughs> whatever you want to do. Do something. <laughs> do something to learn about yourself, especially associated to astrology. That's all I care about. And thank you for being here. Thank you so much for giving me the time of day. Today, I just want to talk about how we can all become more of an interwoven and empowered society. Because today, Mercury is in Aquarius and Venus is in Aquarius. So I just want to give that some light. I want to give that, that specific transit some attention. So because we have Mercury and Venus in Aquarius right now, let's just think about them. Mercury is the planet that has to do with communicating. Not those one-off communications, the communications where you actually get to know, you actually get the message across. Right now, we live in a universe. We didn't before. Before, we were just spirit. And then once we realized we were spirit, we came up with an idea. And the idea was, we need to expand. And so, all the other planets were created, and then Mother Earth was created, and then Mother Earth created us, and now we are on Earth. And all the other planets are watching over us. We know about, we know about Aries. I know about Aries for sure, that's the god of war, right? It's also the god of struggle and strife. We know about Mercury, the god of Hermes, which is the god of communication and messaging. And we know about Venus, which Aphrodite is the goddess of love. And it goes on. There's so many cool perspectives that originated. You can Definitely let me know what you think, but I believe that they were originated from the Hermetica. Which is a book that Hermes wrote. You could definitely correct me if I'm wrong. So that, for me, that, that's really significant. We live in this society. We have come up with this idea that we need to experience self. Outside, before Earth was created, we were beings wanting to experience Earth. We created Earth, and then we forgot that we are all intimately connected together. There is a sense of unity that we don't even notice. We might take for granted, but it is important. It is very important that we realize as a society that we all communicate unity inevitably, in whatever way possible. Through talking about our government, through talking about our beliefs, through talking about our political standpoints, all of these are all connected to one purpose, which is understanding. We are all seeking understanding. And that's what Aquarius is doing. Aquarius is always seeking understanding. And I feel like they get a bad rap because, oh, okay, so you, you, you're, you, you're bisexual, or you, 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 you want to be a transgender or something. There's nothing wrong with that. Because you are living your 
your own version of life. And that means everything to everyone that you talk to. Everyone is influenced by you and your beliefs. And they take those beliefs that you have and they share them with everyone. So we are all interwoven and the sense of being interwoven is blessing. The, the ability to really understand each other on a deeper level is very, very intricate. I just thought I'd talk about unity today because I just think it's so important because if you can be interested in someone else, then that makes you interesting. That's the only thing that makes us interesting. Definitely check out Thinking um, How to Win Friends and Influence People is a really awesome book. Definitely recommend it by Dale Carnegie. There's two books I'm mentioning, but I don't even remember who the author of the Medica is. But yeah. I've never read it before. It's in my class. My classmates are reading it, and I'm apparently influenced by it. <laughs> It's only supposed to reveal itself to you when you're ready. And so maybe I'm not ready yet, <laughs> but I'm definitely grateful to be able to learn about it. All of you guys' opinions are awesome. You guys are all fire. So inspiring to me. Just for being here and taking a moment just to see what this guy's up to. That makes me feel good. And thank you for that. Thank you for letting me be weird, because I know that astrology is pretty weird, but yet I'm expressing this, and I can't help it. I feel really belligerent, but it's okay, because I have transits that lead me to talk about things that are spiritual, and right now astrology is it's close to my heart right now, and it's, it's not letting go. We can't blame it for that. It's just a belief. It's just like... When you look at a birth chart, you're reading a person. You're reading a book, but it's actually a human being. It's cool. What other, what, what other form could you find like that? There is no other form like that. It's so cool. And I'm blessed with that opportunity. Every day of my life. Especially getting to know all the other, all the moons in each planet. That's what I like to do describe descriptions on. That's what I'm working on right now. I don't know shit about them, but I'm gonna learn. That's the goal. You guys teach me just by being here. You guys being here gives me an opportunity to, to explore things so that I try to stay a step ahead so that everyone learns something. Cause that's the goal of my right? To learn things. Let me know what you wanna learn. Let me know what you want to learn so I can learn it with you. We can have this experience together. Definitely. We can have this experience together and we'll be amazing. Yeah, so Mercury. Happy Mercury Day. Happy Wednesday. Have a great, a great, 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 great assertion. Be it full of a lot of strange opinions and a lot of Flow, because you're gonna get a lot of flow right now because you're in Aquarius season right now and Aquarius is all consuming Tai Chi master. <laughs> so enjoy, no, enjoy. And thank you, thank you, thank you guys and blessings. Don't let Aquarius' opinions really mess you up too bad because it's always all about you in, in the end. In the end, it's always about you. Your work ethic, your mindset, your frame of mind, your faith, your beliefs, your empowerment, everything is always about you. And for any of you guys who like to chill, Mars is in Taurus, so trust and believe you don't have to do too much, but just stick with your heart. Because your heart is going to take care of you.
It's gonna have your back. Always has, always will. I got your back too, but not as much as your own heart is. Thank you. Okay guys, so I did want to mention before I take off, I'm definitely gonna start doing birth chart readings with north and south node. Because your north south your north south nodes, they are very cool. And they tell you which way you're going in your life. Are you being more brave? And are you facing more of your fears? Or are you in your comfort zone trying to avoid your fears? North and South node is the polar is the polar force of the moon. I did a video on it yesterday. If you want, check it out. I definitely strongly suggest it because it's really good. I liked it. I had a lot of fun. And it was really exciting and it's kind of driving me today to do a video in the first place. I even did a post on Instagram about unity. I really like that perspective to know that if you push hard enough, you're inevitably going in the right direction. That makes me super duper excited. So I had to just double tap on that one. <laughs> I had to double tap on it, especially thinking about how Mercury is in Aquarius. You had to double tap on Aquarius and Mercury because it's the strange one. And the strange ones always get misunderstood, but they always get their work done. And in due time, they always succeed. So there's something to think about. Where are you acting strange in your life right now because Mercury and, and Aquarius, where are you acting strange right now that you know that you should be where are you acting strange where you shouldn't be? Because you could be acting too aggressive. Mars in, in Taurus, you, if you're acting too aggressive into the wrong thing, you might get a little backlash. Because Mars in Taurus is for real is going to help you chill and follow your heart. That's where it goes. Mars in Taurus goes to your heart. So definitely use those barometers, man. I wish I had introduced them earlier on because there's a lot of readings I've done already I can't necessarily go back on. I'm grateful to have the opportunity to talk about them and definitely learn about your Sun, Moon, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn first before you learn about your nose, period. But yeah, I'm recently, I've recently introduced nodes and I've recently introduced ascending and mid-havens. I just wanted everyone to know and I'm probably going to redo all the synastry ones that I did because I want everyone to understand their birth charts and having a synastry associated with me and you is going to be able to help you to learn more about who you are because I'm talking about it but it's way better for you to understand yourself and learn to expand outwards first before you start to expand outwards towards someone else live and learn <laughs> Definitely live and learn. And thank you for giving me an opportunity to speak on, on you guys' behalf. Because you guys are all awesome and amazing. You guys are all blown my mind with all this attention. Never thought this would happen. Super duper grateful. Take your time. Understand self. Really take your time to understand self. And once you've done that, expand outwards. You are the light we want to see in the world. Stay blessed. Thank you.